Hello there, my name is Ben Starkey, Director of Learning for PE at Chobham Academy. We are applying for the Excellence in Physical Education Innovation Award for our work with Solo Taxonomy. We opened in September and we felt this was a perfect opportunity for us to adopt a new pathway to help students progress with their learning. Students have taken it on really well, they fully understand the whole principles behind the taxonomy um, and how it can help with their progress. We've started to share this uh, taxonomy um, collaboratively with other departments around the country. We've had schools come in and visit to see how we've adopted the approach within practical lessons. Um, within the school itself, the dance department have taken this on board as part of their dance program um, and science have taken a loose approach to adopting a taxonomy too. We feel this is working really well and will continue to develop as the school goes on this journey. I have no idea about the topics of the skills that we're learning. I have one idea of the topics and skills that we're learning. I have several ideas of the topics and skills that we're learning. I have several ideas that can link them together to improve. I know all the ideas and can link it to each other and evaluate other people's work. Alright Priscilla, what is it that you've been using in PE? Um, we've been using the solar taxonomy and it helps us to know where we are and where we need improvements and yeah. How do you think the, the posters help you? Um, it helps us because um, it goes from when you know you no know ideas until you know a lot so you can put where you want and where you feel to be. Good, alright. And how does it help you progress throughout the lesson? Um, it helps me progress because I focus on the next one up and then I try to do the things so I can um, go on that level. Well done, it. Uh, what's your initials? Okay. Um, what do you think? Yeah, what do you think? Good basketball. I think you. Oh, no one, none of us here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I think you showed this as well. Yeah. Like okay. it. Um, what's your initials? Why A? Um, you did show three or two because you were involved. Seth Wu! Seth Wu! Hey, so cool. In the next game, we'll see what that one is. Why? It's good. I'm the engine. I'm the engine. Okay, so cool. Alright. You're dropping the ball because you're like that. Apart from me, is there any of this? Yeah, I think. What do you guys think of this? I think you did good for us. No, you did space. You've seen a lot of space. Alright, so now have the discussions, talk about what have you got to do to get to the next stage of the taxonomy, what have you got to do next? Right, let's start with Dylan again. Uh, what do you think he did well? What do you think he did well? He was the one person that scored a goal. He was the one person that scored a goal. And I think he did really well. Uh, I'll keep it, I'll keep it great, because it's a good idea. So what I'll say, if we do it in the next round, I only want Dylan to be in goal once, okay? Because if we see if we see who's improved or something, we're all going to try and get a goal in goal next round. Um, it's handball, so I think I think all of us, all of us need to get a goal in goal next round. Okay, I think we're all going to get a goal in goal next round. Okay, I think we're all going to get a goal in goal next round. Okay, I think we're all going to get yeah, so, okay. so think about what have you got to do now to each, look where your initials are, what have you got to do to get to the next level? Okay. So what have you got to do to improve? All of you three, um, all of us, we, we, we have to link skills together. Yeah. Really together. Yeah. Yeah. You guys, I think you try and do that as well, but mainly focus on doing more than one skill. And um, yes, yeah, so I would make a point to you: don't try, don't be afraid of the goal. Like, <laughs> you know, basically, go for it. But um, yeah, same with that. Jack, um, you've been uh, using uh, this model in PE to assess yourselves, alright? What is it called and, and how have you been using it in PE? This is the solo way to assess ourselves in PE and um, it's to do, you write your name wherever you think you are and um, you can see what you need to improve on or maybe what you're doing correctly and what you have to do next. Um, alright, can you take us through each poster at a time and tell us what, what they mean? Well, this Okay, cool. And what does the next one mean then? They have one idea about what they're doing and they're 
and that's what the one block represents. Alright, uh, what about the three? What's the next that one? That means they've got several, which means more than one idea about the sport, but they can't really connect them together to try and use them in a full match. Alright, and um, what's the next one? Uh, that is when they can connect them together. So, like, it's good to, in, in um, handball, for example, it's good to outwit your opponent and then get it in, but if, it's better if you connect them all together to um, really improve your... Um, accuracy in your skills. Alright, and then the top one? Um, you can observe people. You can say they're doing this while they're doing this while they need to um, they need to improve on this and you can evaluate each other and even Good. yourselves. So how do you think this helps you and the rest of the class with MPE lessons? Well it helps it helps everyone because you can you can say, well I'm on this I'm on this one at the moment. To do that, I need to have more than one idea, so I'll go back and I might ask people about it and I'll research it, see where they are and maybe um, say what they have to do better and what they're doing really well, so you can hopefully get to the top. Alright, brilliant, well done. Alright Brooke, you just moved yourself up from um, the unistructural to the multistructural. Why have you moved yourself from there? Um, I've moved my, uh, I have moved it because I have demonstrated um, different types of techniques during the game with accuracy. Good lad, alright well done. So what have you got to do now do you think to get to the next one? Um, I need to be able to link it with other shots. To Good lad, well done. Alright Fizey, you've moved from the unistructural to the multistructural. Why have you why have you moved your um posting um, up? Because I can perform several skills with Alright. So what do you need to do then to move on to the relational one um, next? I need to link several skills together. Yeah. For example, movement with like if I'm hitting I need to link speed and movement. Mohamedou, come over here. Alright Mohamedou, I've just seen you move from the unistructural to the multistructural. Why have you done that? Um, because I can demonstrate three or more, three or more um, skills during the match. And what, did you, what skills did you demonstrate then? Um, I can do a serve, I can do a body and I can do a set. Good, alright, so you're on to the multistructural now. What have you got to do to get to the next one, the relational? Um, I've got to link the skills into a game and perform them successfully and consistently. Alright, real one. Um, what's this sheet that you've been using in today's lesson and how does it help you? It's a solo taxonomy sheet and we just use it to like, to basically see our progress throughout the lesson so we can see like the different barriers of the things that we have to learn like by the end of the lesson. So it just scaffolds the different like parts that we need to learn over a due amount of time. So as you can see here, at the start of the lesson, I didn't know anything about energy balance or the four major components of energy output. But as it got over to a time, so after 15 minutes, I was able to explain energy balance. And then after that, around after five minutes, I was able to explain several major components of energy output. And at 2.40, I could explain energy balance and how it's affected by changes in the four major components of energy output and by the end I achieved the whole lesson objective. Alright, and, and how does this help you then? Or what do you think the benefit of, of it is to you with MPE? Because it, it sets targets, so it shows you what you're... Like, it sets targets, so you have in your mind what you want to leave at the end of the lesson. So everybody wants to leave at the lesson having the bottom, mm -hmm. having in mind knowing everything, but especially the bottom, that's everybody's target by the end of the lesson. And as you progress, you see what you've, like, what you've gained, the knowledge that you've gained as you progress. So during any time of the lesson, 
at, at the start of the lesson we write where we are on the taxonomy sheet and then any time of the lesson we feel that we've ticked the box we write down um, where we are time. Alright guys, you've just moved your sticker again, why have you moved your sticker? Because we moved our sticker because we, um, we had to evaluate what they were doing and um, look at it and see how they could improve it. Alright, and what did you suggest um, for them to improve? Um, they should do it like, at the same time because one of them was um, spinning uh, before and then after and after and it wasn't all together and it didn't look like very good. Alright, can you just tell me what you've done and, and why you've moved your, your post-it note and wrote the time on it there? What, what is it that you're doing? Um, um, I did that because I, I moved my post-it note one level higher because I, I think I can do a short sequence um, in trampoline including the, um, the uh, backdrop, the seat drop. Um, Alright, good. And uh, girls, how do you think like this this model helps you in PE? How, how does it help you? It helps us to see where we are. I'd like to. Alright, so it helps you see where you are, so how does that help you? And how we're making progress. Um, and we can see where we're at and yeah, we, know, we're we, know what, we know what we need to, um, to what our target is. And do you think this is a good way of progressing then in PE? Yeah. Good. Alright, well done. After visiting Chobham Academy recently and looking at how they use solo taxonomy in both uh, theory and practical lessons, we decided to take that innovative approach back into our own academy to look at how we can integrate that into our lessons. Using it recently in a few Key Stage 3 lessons, um, badminton and within fitness, the students were able to grasp immediately um, how much progress they were able to make from the start of the lesson to the end of the lesson by measuring across the various strands um, the variety of understanding and knowledge that they had uh, and be able to reference that at various points in the lesson. I've been using solo in my practical PE lessons to uh, really engage the students and I'd, I'd like to, to say a big thank you to Cobham Academy and, and Ben Leonard who's supported me from Cobham in just really thinking about how to use it uh, and one of the main things was to just simplify how it was shown to the students so just by having the, the images uh, just up on the, the wall and having the students use the post-it notes to check their progress and, and always relating it back to the learning objectives it has made a huge impact on the things I'm doing in my lessons.